Hello boys. Good morning. All the boys of English version 8 are welcome to this online class on behalf of St. Gregory's High School and College. I'm here, Muhammad Jorul Islam. I'd like to submit today Surah Al Ziljal as our lesson. So let's get prepared with our instrument, I mean copies and pens to note down important information from the lesson. So boys, let's get started. Boys, this is Surah Zilzal. We know this surah is 99th surah of Al Quran and this surah actually if we name the word I mean if we translate the word zilzal then we can understand something different from this surah zilzal means actually the earthquake and Allah the exalted has mentioned this word and ultimately uh, given a name of the surah it has great importance and great purport Anyway, the Surah of Al-Quran, Zilzal, 99th Surah, and the conditions of the Doomsday or Kiamat are described in this Surah. So, if we ask what is described in Surah Zilzal, the Kiamat or the Doomsday is described in Surah Zilzal. The Surah has been named after the uh, word zilzal according to the last word of the first ayat so you know uh, the very first ayat has this word and this word has been said at last of the first ayat and according to this word or the surah was named Now Shani Nujul or you know background of revelation. One day some someone gave a very little amount of food to a beggar. Then he asked himself. Will there be any reward for this small act? Another person used to commit small sins. He did not refrain from doing these sins. Rather, he neglected them and paid no heed to those sins. Under these two circumstances, Allah the Exalted, the Omnipotent, revealed this Surah and let all know that no matter how small the virtue or sin is, one has to be accountable for this or for it on the doomsday or kiamat afterwards he or she will be rewarded or punished accordingly 
So boys, this is very clear before us. If we do any bad thing, any bad work, or any good work, we shall get its feedback. We shall get it returns. We shall get its consequence. There is no doubt. So we should not think actually very simple. If we commit any crime, it may be small, but its weight it's very heavy very heavy and its punishment also will be tormenting so we should not think a uh, crime or sin very small or you know we should not take it slightly On the other hand, if we do any good deeds, it may be, whether it may be small or smaller, then we should not neglect it, that we will not get its reward. Actually, Allah the Exalted will provide its reward three, four times or more than this, because Allah has power to provide rewards or to provide returns. In any voice, now we shall learn some word meanings from this lesson and try to write down some meaning also. First one is Ida. Ida means when. Second one is Zul Zilati. Will tremble or shake Al Ardu earth, ground, soil, wa akhrajati, will bring out or throw out askola, heavy loads or burden, kola will tell or speak, yawmazin on the day, yuhadithu will describe or will speak out, Akbar news masses yes Dulu will be rebuilt or exposed Ashtatan separately or differently Amalun deeds or activities Mithqalun amount or quantity Zarratun drop molecule smallest part etc khairun good or well sharrun bad evil inferior yarahu means he or she will see that this was all about the words and meaning words now i'd like to recite the surah بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إذا زلزلت الأرض زلزالها وأخرجت الأرض أثقالها وقال الإنسان ما لها يومئذ تحدث أخبارها بأن ربك أوحى لها يومئذ يصدر الناس واشتاتا ليروا أعمالهم فَمَنْ يَعْمَلْ مِثْقَالَ ذَرَّةٍ خَيْرًا يَرَهُ وَمَنْ يَعْمَلْ مِثْقَالَ ذَرَّةٍ شَرًّا يَرَهُ This is all about the recitation. I think you will try to recite this surah that will help you in your prayer and also you will get rewards. You know, we shall get rewards 10 or 10 virtues instead of one letter so uh, recitation has a great importance in Islam uh, boys uh, now here we need to end our class today in the next class we shall start from the uh, translation and explanation inshallah till then remain well all thanks very much